Hey everybody, it's your friend, Verb Jr., and my friend, Furbomb. We're going to do Vivace to learn music theory. So let's go over to our app. We've opened the app. We're going to do practice. Vives practice one hundred notes. Okay. A G C. D C A C C C C Oops A C G B B F That's A. Oh, my, I've got a headache. I'm not doing great. But we're just doing what we do. D A G C G G F C G A Crap, we're doing crappy A Ninety five per cent. Cancel. D. 
95 out of 100 or 95 percent tutorial so we're gonna do the tutorial now we did accidentals last time let's do key signatures depending on the scale of the piece of music to be read a symbol known as a case key signature is often placed right after the cleft to indicate which sharps or flats are used consistently through the piece. Displayed are just some examples of key signatures. For example, in the scale of G major, every F note is played as an F sharp. Without the key signature, we would need to place a sharp accidental next to every F note we encounter. Placing the same accidental in the same notes becomes redundant, so instead we identify the accidentals that are used consistently and place them next to the clef in what is known as the key signature. The key signature applies to every note of, this, of the same name, regardless of the octave. For example, with the key signature displayed, every F note through the piece would be played as an F sharp unless another accidental is used to cancel it. It is also possible to change key signatures through a piece. Displayed is a reference for placing sharps in key signatures for all clefs. That's not all the clefs, but that's four of them. Sharps are always added in the positions shown from left to right following the order of five cats got drowned at East Boston. Suggested lessons 6 through 13 in the trainer. And this is how we place flats for the same clefts, just like sharps. These are added from left to right in the positions shown, but following the reverse order. B, E, A, D, G, C, F. Suggest the lessons 14 through 21 in trainer. This, this known as the circle of fifth, this diagram is used to accommodate all 15 key signatures and shown and show the relationship between them. At the top of the circle, we see that the key signature with no sharps or flats is known as C major. Moving clockwise from there, we add a sharp for every segment up to seven sharps in C sharp major. Moving counterclockwise from the top natural C, we add a flat for every segment up to seven flats and C flat. Notice that the three lower segments are occupied by two signatures. These key signatures that are in a same segment are known as enharmonic, for they contain the same notes even if displayed with different accidentals. And that's all for today. I want to say thank you for joining us. Let's go to our splash screen. Okay, we did. I forgot what we did. Key signatures. I want to say thank you for being here. Let's see if any more. Oh, there was somebody in the chat. Dippin. Dippin69. I don't know what he said, but it's blank that. Okay. Thanks, bro. Well, thanks for being here. I'm going to explore Dippin69. So I'm going to take a screenshot. And so I want to say thank you, Dippin69, for stopping by. I'm sorry you didn't seem to enjoy yourself. So we have uh, another T TV viewer, Dippin69, Industrial Parasite. Let's do this underscore music and nuclear pigeons. So thank you. Thanks for being here. Have a great day.